<laughs> Thank God. More Hammond, he, he, he's in hell right now because he claimed to be God. Jesus is at right hand of all power in heaven and earth because he was God. He was God in the flesh. Hallelujah. There will be but one Jesus. Never will be another Jesus. Never will be another Savior. The God done paid the price through Jesus Christ for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. My Lord, I, if I could do a car wheel, I would. Ain't nobody here do a car wheel. He can. I remember that. Do a car wheel. He do. He gonna do a car wheel for me. Just do it right up here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, do another right here. I want you to do one right here on this ramp. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, praise God. Glory be to Jesus. I always want to do a car wheel, but I just mess up every time I do. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else ever mess up every time you try to do a car wheel? Thank God, but Jesus Christ is my Lord. Don't you want him to be your Lord? Don't you want him to be your God? Don't you claim his name? You know, I changed my wife's name a few years ago. I'll remember her given name. I changed her into a terrible. Well, Jesus changed my name into Jesus. He changed your name into Jesus when you accept him. Amen. Glory. You take on his name. That's why people need to be baptized. That's when you get a, a preacher or, or somebody that that's a judge or somebody to marry you because they got the authority to join you and your wife together. And then you sign that little marriage thing. You don't have to do that, but you, you're still married, but you sign that thing, and then that makes you legal. Well, that's what happened. When you get born again, washed in the blood, get yourself in a church and get in there and work with the church and join that church. Praise God. That's like when, when that preacher put you and your wife together but you still saved but you still need to be in a church <laughs> well I knocked a home run there I felt that all come back I'm a good ball player thank you Jesus glory but that's what Jesus done good and he's still doing good and he'll do good for you. All you got to do is call on his name. Everybody stand up and come down here to the front. Oh, I just feel him so, so, so glorious. Come down here and stand. Just right in front here. Thank you, Jim. Just stand right in front. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I just feel, I feel good about America. I really do. And I'm hoping that, that things are going to change this fall in America. I don't care what you hope. I'm hoping against you if you don't want to change. I'm hoping and praying against you. You don't want me praying against you. <laughs> we need a change in this country. We need somebody believing in Jesus in the White House. I said, we don't need nobody believing Mohammed. Mohammed, he's in hell right now because he claimed to be God. We don't need, we don't need nobody believes in Mohammed. We need somebody believing a man that ain't in hell that's in heaven. The right hand of God. If you don't like that, you can just do what you want to. Yes, sir. Thank God I believe in Jesus Christ. And I thank God for America. I've been in all these other nations of America. God raised up this country in America. And put the kind of people in like you to send a, somebody like me to, to preach the word. These other nations ain't got missionaries hardly. God, you, people in America sent me to over 200 countries of the world. And they still sending me. And I'm going to get the, the rest of them if I live. And thank God. And God, go, and I'm holding that to God's feet. I, every day I say, God, remember the people in America. that, that some, some people in America may not believe in God no more. 
since his president, I heard old Riley say the other day, since his president been in office, Christianity fell from 92% down into the 40s. That scared me. But I praise God the next four years we're going to climb back up to 100. How many like to see America climb back up not 92, but 100? Get rid of all these infidels. Some of what to do with it. Take them out here and drop in the ocean if you have to. Without a parachute. <laughs> hey, I just don't want these devils in you. I want people believe in Jesus. Hey, man, you know, you can believe in Jesus. Even if you're a sinner, you can still believe in Jesus. How many know that? You better believe in Jesus if you're a sinner because one day you're going to need him. Better get your self in faith of Jesus. One of these days you're going to need Jesus. And I want everyone to put your right hand over your heart and raise your left hand up. This is, is what's happening in Africa. This is what's happening in Mexico. We were having a great, just got back from Mexico, just great, great, great move. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. Then we'll all pray together, but pray this prayer. God, I confess that you, God, so love the world that you gave your only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For you, God, sent not your Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Jesus, I confess that 2,000 years ago you died upon the cross, shed your blood for my sins to save me. And you was buried. After the third day, you rose from the dead. I confess that your blood and your resurrection and your death was for me. That you died and rose for me. I accept your blood as a cleansing of my sins. I receive the Spirit of Christ in my life, which is you, Jesus. Right now, let my body be a temple of the Holy Ghost. Now put your hands up while I pray. I feel the Holy Ghost. Father, right now, you've heard our prayer. Now let that body send the Holy Ghost. Send a refreshing into the Holy Ghost. Send a renewal of the Holy Ghost. Let the Spirit of God, Lord, let the Spirit of God right now, God, search through them. If there's any sin, any, any hurt, anyone that's been offended, God, uh, uh, in their lives with their families, or Lord, or their job, Lord, let that offense be blotted out. And let the love of God right now be poured into them by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, put your hands up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. I want you to get in the line over here. And I want to sing that. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Listen. Tell him what you want. Jesus on that main line. Now we'll call 